right so we've already seen the oxidation of primary alcohols aldehydes ketones and uh, we've also seen uh, with the alkyl benzenes where i said in respect of the carbon chain you will be getting or uh, the alkyl alkane or the alkyl group will get oxidized to the acidic group right so uh, what did we do we have done uh, orthoxylene isn't it in that uh, orthoxylene had two alkyl groups so it got oxidized to two carboxylic acid groups that is your phthalic acid right let us come back and see the hydrolysis reaction right we are going to hydrolyze nitriles and we are going to hydrolyze esters also so let us see what are nitriles nitriles is basically r c triple bond n right this nitrogen so cyano also called as nitrile now esters is r c o o r right ester group c o r prime sister r c o r now when i speak about the general reaction of nitriles so let us write the general reaction basically when i take a nitrile when i'm going to hydrolyze this okay right addition of water this i'm going to hydrolyze it in the presence of a mineral acid so i'm taking h plus now observe carefully basically when you go into the reaction i'm writing the general reaction if we are taking two moles right total hydrogens are how many four isn't it how does this going to add now there are two oxygens and four hydrogens so this adds like c double bond o this is nh4 there is still one oxygen left out right this one on further hydrolysis in the presence of h plus this um, nh4 right <coughs> comes out as nh3 so there is one hydrogen here and one oxygen which is there goes and adds to that and this becomes acid so nitrile to acid so one two hydrogens first will add here and that oxygen will come and add here along with that hydrogen which is left out from ammonia now let us see one reaction so if i take ch3 c triple bond n so what is this compound one two so it is ethan ethan nitrile then nit nitrile or then nitrile okay now when i further hydrolyze this in the presence of h plus observe carefully if you don't want if you're not remembering the whole thing just directly right cyano group gets hydrolyzed to carboxylic group plus ammonia this is important okay let us write one more um, reaction right now i'm going to take an aliphatic ring right <clears throat> now what is this compound this is <laughs> benzoy benz benzene ring right so we call it as benzo nitrile right. i'm going to take this again i'm going to hydrolyze it in the presence of mineral acid directly this is going to get converted to benzoic acid plus ammonia So this is ethanoic acid, ethan nitrile, ethanoic acid, uh, benzo nitrile, benzoic acid. So just directly have to remember. Actually, this is the mechanism which is going to happen or which is going to like uh, exhibit. But later, when it goes and acts directly, you can write in the exam to cyano to acid or cyano to acid. That. Now, let us start with uh, ester reaction. So basically, when I uh, see esterification reaction, this is what you have studied in grade 10. Esterification reaction is a reaction where an acid, general reaction, an acid reacts with an alcohol in the presence of sulfuric acid. Correct? <coughs> what do we get? We get a uh, removal of water to give RCOOR. This is your ester, ester plus water. This is what is this, correct? Now, what am I going to do? I am going to take this ester, CH3, CH2, CO, CH3. Right? I have to prepare an acid, isn't it? Now, when I am preparing an acid in the presence of hydrolysis, because that is what is hydrolysis, isn't it? Now, <coughs> take your pen when you are showing your hydrolysis, exactly cleave it here. When you cleave this also, H plus and OH minus, when you are cleaving the bond here, this becomes minus, this becomes plus. Your H goes and adds to this and your OH comes and adds to this. What do I get? I get two different, one CH3, CH2, COOH plus CH3, OH. Right, what is uh, this um, <coughs> 
compound yeah this is methyl group this is ethyl group so o8 isn't it ethanoate so what can i write i can write it as ethyl ethanoate correct with two carbons now here what is this compound one two three so this is your propanoic acid and this is your methanol one carbon acid plus alcohol right now this, that is a re reverse reaction isn't it no suppose if i have this compound what is this compound this is called methyl benzoate yes methyl benzoate right coo it should be let me write this clearly right methyl benzoate now when this undergoes hydrolysis you will cleave the bond here plus and minus H comes here and OH goes and attacks here. What do I get? I get benzoic acid and the leftover comes out as methanol. That's it. So I have written just general reaction for your ester. Acid plus alcohol gives ester plus water. But what do we need now? We need an acid. So I took that. To, uh, I took that ester. I allow allow it to undergo hydrolysis. I just cleave the bond here. I've added one. This becomes minus. So you're going to add H plus. This becomes plus. You're going to add uh, OH minus and form the products. So this is your hydrolysis. We have prepared acids by hydrolysis process. So we've already done the preparations. We have already seen the oxidation reactions. Then I've also shown you how to hydrolyze an ester in cyano group, that is nitrile group. Now let us come back and learn how can I prepare an acid from Grignard's reagent, right? So most important thing, whenever you are speaking on, you're trying to prepare an acid from Grignard's reagent, the important conditions are you require carbon dioxide, okay? As it is said, you require RMGX. Now this carbon dioxide is going to be taken in ethyl ethereal solution right so we going to take it in ethereal solution and dissolve it and then you add it to your Grignard's reagent now <clears throat> and after this once these two react we are going to take or allow it to undergo hydrolysis after hydrolysis only we are going to get an acid right so let us see the procedure so first important thing <coughs> I'm going to take a uh, general reaction general reaction and then go with your actual reaction when I go with the general reaction, just see, let first you are going to take RMGX. Now, this is your Grignard's reagent, isn't it? Now, to this, you are going to add carbon dioxide. Now, C double bond O, C double bond O. As soon as this is added in the ethereal solution, there is a cleavage of the bond exactly here, right? This, <coughs> this becomes plus and this becomes minus. Now, how does this go and add? Observe carefully your R, first write R, okay? Now, join this thing to R. C double bond O. Okay. Right. Now double bond O. Right. Now this can't be uh, because unless until this breaks the bond you will not get uh, MGX isn't it. So it has this bond go shifts. So this becomes a single bond. Right. So <coughs> shift MGX. Simple. Now, what are we going to do? We are going to further hydrolyze this. When you're hydrolyzing H plus and OH minus, when you're hydrolyzing this particular thing, what happens? Your H goes and adds to this because there's a cleavage of the bond here, and your OH goes and adds to this because this shifts in this direction, isn't it? So, what do I get? R COOH acid, as I said, plus Mg OHX. That's it. This is your acid. This is how you're going to prepare. Let us take one example now. When I take an example <coughs> here, let me take CH3 MgX. Okay. Methyl magnesium halide. Okay. MgCl. Not a problem. Right. Now I'm going to add carbon dioxide to this. As I said, what do you get? You get an alkyl group and you get double bond O and single bond O MgCl. As I said, this will further hydrolysis. You're going to hydrolyze it. 
yes so it's going to break into ions and where does it go and add you get ch3 coh as i've shown earlier plus mg ohx or cs so this is your acetic acid or ethanoic acid so this is how you're going to add take Grignard's reagent add carbon dioxide in the principal ethereal uh, solution and as i said <clears throat> this is going to cleave the bond and exactly whole carbon atom goes and adds here oxygen shift of this bond mg goes and adds mg cl goes and adds here and finally on hydrolysis there's a cleavage of the bond that, that comes out as mgohcl and the leftover acetic acid